Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you another 30 card hero deck, but there's something a little special about this hero deck. We're not using Grass is Greener, we're not using any dedicated cards that are used to mill to your graveyard. Instead, what we're doing is we're utilizing my monster cards, the skill, to make a 30 card deck that can stand up to other 30 card decks without needing grass. So it's just a 30 card deck, you play like a normal deck, you don't have to rely on grass, you don't have to do any of that, and it's still a very strong deck, guys. For one simple trick with my monster cards, you've seen me use it before in way older heroes. I believe this is my first time using it with our boy Stratos. What do you need for my monster cards? You just need six or more level four or lower monsters, and you're more likely to start with a level four or lower monster in your hand. So as you can see, we're using three Stratos. That's one. Two, one solid soldier, three, one blaze man, four, one kite roy, which is serving a dual purpose. He can be used as a fusion for great tornado because he's one wind monster, and then he's in your graveyard still using his effect. Great job. So that's four, five is Vion, and six is Bubble Man. Now, Bubble Man, you just get him for your special summon if you control no other cards. You can draw, good for a miracle comeback. You can draw into a really strong trap. But other than that, you're using him for Vion to banish, or just for fusion, because he's an E-hero, stuff like that. But, as you can see, you're very likely to start with Stratos in your hand, so it's a great, great opening. It lets you search Witch Raider, guys. Witch Raider's always been a very strong card, but now that she's searchable, it's even stronger. With Witch Raider being searchable, and us likely to have a Stratos, we can just pump this deck full of so many traps, guys. Almost half this deck is traps. We have crazy traps, crazy battle traps like Wall of D and Drowning Mirror Force. We have the Almighty Fiendish Chain, which is like the best trap right now. You can use its effect and still keep it to tribute your Witch Raider eventually. It's a very strong card. Wish I had more. And our big boy staples that disrupt our Canadia and our Floodgate, those two. And these cards are very strong in the current meta. They're always usually sleeper strong. It's just hard to make room for them. This third card deck has room for him. It's Network Trap Hole. When your opponent special summons a monster from the main deck or graveyard, banish it face down. So that works on Magician's Navigation. Or we have Void Trap Hole. You might want to add more of these. When your opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effects of one of those monsters with 2,000 or more attack if you dis destroy it. Also a very, very strong card, guys. I really like it. And like I said, you just get a bunch of traps in there for your Witch Raider. We've only worked in... Three mass change, two polys. We have two ways to search our polys, so it's still very consistent. But the only fusion monsters we're using are Great Tornado and Trinity, our two best. And then on top of that, with the mass change, we're just using three Anki. Witch Raider can turn into Anki, and Vion can turn into Anki. Or Blast, of course. So Blast is very useful with our Stratos. Really hope we get more than one Blast one day and be very useful. But uh, till then, we're running like this. I love this deck, guys. Other 30 card decks using spell specialists, getting all those grasses greeners in their hands, just scoop immediately. I wasn't able to get any uh, really good replays of it, but they just scoop quick. I didn't want to show replays of just scooping. It's like, it's still a popular 30 card Shira Nui. I even ran into a 30 card Dragonuity mixed with blue eyes that just scooped immediately. So. It's really fun, guys, running a 3-card deck that doesn't rely on grass. So try it out. It's a great way to run it. I'm going to play around with it even more, guys. I really like it. It's all thanks to Witch Raider being searchable. Pump your deck full of traps. Great, great stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the replays. Okay, finding the new Joey, Desaad Joey. He has some red eye skills that you guys will see as soon as I unlock them. I already have some ideas. So anyway, we're using my monster cards. We have a handful of monsters, guys. You're really going to see a handful of monsters constantly thanks to my monster cards, which is absolutely crazy. When you look at the ratios of monsters, spell, and traps to this deck, it's absolutely insane, guys. So remember, we set this void trap hole. I wasn't even sure how this interaction was going to work, because usually a supernaturalist can't be destroyed. But he's summoned, we negate his effect, void trap hole, destroys the supernaturalist. He's completely done, guys. We top deck a mass change. All we're going to top deck is like spell or trap cards, guys, because we already have so many monsters. We get to search our poly. Look at the options we have, guys. Just infinite options. Mass change, poly, plenty of monsters. 
stopped our opponent. This is what the deck's all about, guys, and it inherently stops 30 card decks. It's so beautiful. Okay, D, Sod, Joey, Wheeler, let's go. Everyone's trying to get those skills. I am too. My monster card, so effective. One of my favorite skills in the games, guys. When you can really abuse it, look at this hand. This isn't rare. This is a common hand to have this many monsters in your hand, guys. It's so wild. Makes the deck run so smooth because you're just top decking mask changes. You're just top decking traps. You already have the monsters you need. You just have to protect your boys. So, so useful, guys. Anyway, our opponent's already full on Joey Red Eyes. It's bringing out the Slash Dragon for us. No uh, effect for the Slash Dragon, but he does talk about the Slash Dragon. Equips an AD Changer to the boy. We're going to normal summon our solid soldier. Special summon Stratos. Stratos is going to search a witch raider for us. Not going to swing in that back row. We're going to use Palmerization. Three of our heroes. Still have a witch raider in hand. Still have a trap in hand. Now we have a Trinity, guys. Trinity is going to be able to swing at all these monsters. We also get a special summon of Stratos. Now we hit a trap. We hit Return of Red Eyes, which is going to special summon a D Sod Red Eyes, guys. Let's get a sneak peek before I even make any Red Eyes decks of this D Sod Red Eyes coming out. Great, great stuff. Finally has red eyes and is a black dragon. There we go. Before it was a red dragon with black eyes. But uh, anyway, Trinity swings at one. Trinity swings at two. He's gonna. He should have brought out the AD Changer, so I would have swung at the AD Changer. Instead, he's gonna summon another slash dragon in the end phase. Uses a uh, insight to dump another red eyes. Searches spirit. We're going to Canadia in the battle phase so he does not get to equip. We get a Void Trap Hole and our Stratos to make a Witch Raider who's going to destroy all his back row, forcing him to bring out his Spirit early. Uh, gets another Red Eyes, no cutscene this time. We destroy that back row which was just a set uh, insight trying to bluff. So Trinity is able to wipe the field for us, followed by the win condition of our... Witch Raider, fantastic duel, guys. Okay, Seto Kaiba, old, or no, a new one. D Sod Seto Kaiba. So, you know, D Sod's trying to pick up steam. We sh still should have got more 5Ds, but I guess we've had enough with the Dark Signers and stuff. So, look, guys, the, it's not just replays like this. Your hands are consistently like this with all these monsters. My monster card, so strong. There's nothing. That changes it from 20 to 30 cards you're still getting the same and now we have two mass changes guys we're going to use our solid soldier to bring out a biome we're fighting fur hires you know old really cheese deck i super hated it when they were meta she gets a negation with one of those cards in her hand we're going to bait her out to negate the pulmonization if she let it go a trinity would just wipe the field again would be over but she's going to negate the navigation i'm going to chain a mass change to the vion that's one anki Anki's going to be able to put damage into that girl. Search for a mass change. This would have been lethal if he didn't have uh, that Wiz heal. But he did gain some life points from Wiz. So we're going to use all three of our mass changes to get her just within lethal. If it was 4k life, it would have been lethal. But our opponent really has to make something happen. And I mean, 2500 is usually its strongest monster. It would need some sort of battle trap and all sorts of stuff. But we would have destroyed it with the Stratos in our hands. So this guy was just stuck with nothing to do, guys. Great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting a Pegasus. So I'm using my monster cards. This should show you in the beginning, but we can't really show it anywhere else. We are fighting a Toon deck. So of course, Witch Raider is going to eat up a Toon deck. We use my monster cards. Now we start with two Stratos and a Blaze Man. Drowning Mirror Force. Stratos is going to let us search Witch Raider. Look at that, a card full, or a handful of monster cards, guys. Here he's using the old Relinkaribo uh, tribute effect. He gets a plus one. We let him hit us for that 2k, so we can use that trap card as fodder for a Witch Raider. We destroy the Toon World, that destroys the monster. We get an attack for 2700. He gets a Berry Magician Girl, which gives him another Toon Dark Magician Girl. He's going to use Enemy Controller on our Witch Raider, thinking he has us for lethal. But check out the kite roid, guys. Check out my ride. Cyrus never leaves home without his kite. So we are protected from both monsters. Still have our witch raider. Normal summon our blaze man. That looks like three heroes to me, guys. 
Three heroes means the almighty trinity. Here he comes. Boom. Or no, sorry, Great Tornado. So we Great Tornado. That's probably actually a better play with Invoked. Trinity wouldn't have been able to really get over him. So we Great Tornado. Switch his attack. He uses both Relink, Karibo, and Invoker to uh, stop us from going lethal. But with just that Toon Dark Magician Girl in his hand and Toon Table of Contents, nothing he can do. Great stuff. So this deck is wild, guys. Uh, you top deck into a lot of powerful traps that can turn duels around for you. You're starting with monsters constantly. Like you saw in every duel, I had like three level four lower monsters in my hand, which is crazy when you look at the ratios of this deck. That's just how strong my monster cards is. It makes this deck completely viable. You start with all those monsters, so you don't have to miracle top deck a monster. You just top deck whatever staple you want. It works out great. Search your win raiders as your big boys. Hit her with mass change. Great, great stuff, guys. I love this deck.